uh, and the one before last, of course, we talked about some of the major differences between the present perfect simple and the past simple. And we agreed that generally speaking, if you want to talk about an experience, you should use the present perfect simple. And if you want to give more information or more details, you can switch to the past simple. This is the general idea uh, when you want to talk about experiences. If you want to say when something happened, of course, you have to use the past simple. But if you want to talk about something that started in the past at some point in the past and it's still uh, and it's still going on uh, until today, until the present, uh, then you can use the present perfect simple. If you don't want to say when exactly, but you want to let the listener know that you're talking about something recent, of course you can use the present perfect simple and you can use it with just, for example, we've just started our lesson. So this means that this is uh, in the recent past uh, I didn't say exactly when I started, but eh, it's recent. So we talked about this. After that, we talked about tourism. Uh, we talked about this company. It's a famous company, uh, Lonely Planet. And uh, it started in 1971. Uh, we read about the history of this uh, company and the founders, the two people, Tony and Maureen how they started this company, we talked about that. We also talked about uh, the three verbs in this list, um, travel, get, and go on, and how you can use these three verbs to talk about all of these words in the box. So all of them are of course related to travel, traveling, and tourism. So we covered these and uh, we also completed the article, we read the article, we answered the follow-up questions about this article and about the company. And then we just got to the beginning of the grammar part here, where we want to uh, shed light on um, the differences between the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous. So the only part we finished yesterday in this exercise in exercise number uh, five, the part that we covered was the beginning. We agreed that if you want to use, if you want to talk about an activity, you should use the present perfect continuous to talk about an activity that started in the past and continues in the present. So this is the present perfect continuous. But if you're discussing or if you're talking about a state that started in the past and continues to the present, then you need to use the present perfect simple. So this is what we talked about. And if you take a look at the two examples that we have in the article, so let me take you to number one and number two. So here, Hajar, can you read the first sentence here in bold? Can you see this sentence in bold uh, in the beginning, in the first paragraph here? It says, the, can you read it please? Uh, the company has been published, pub publishing guide books for 40 years. Right, okay, okay. And the second one, can you read the second uh, bold sentence? Um, the book has been uh, a bestseller since it was published in 1973. Okay, now if you take a look here at the first one, Azure, you can see which tense did we use? Which kind of present perfect did we use here? Here present uh, perfect continuous. That's correct. And if you take a look at the second one you just read, what did we use? What kind of present perfect? A uh, sample. Right, that's correct, yeah, so has been. Now, which of these two examples do you think is talking about an activity that started in the past and it's still true today? And which sentence do you think talks about a state that started in the past and it's still true or, or it still continues today? In your opinion, what do you think? 
the first one is about uh, activity. Right. And how did you mm -hmm. guess this? From what? From has been publishing. So we use present perfect continuous. Right. And mm -hmm. uh, the next one. So the next one, is it a state? A state, yeah. So where's the state here? Uh, has been a best um, a bestseller. Yes, so so it's still a bestseller, right? This is the state. Yeah. This is the state that it's still in from 1973. This started, and it's still true today. Hello, How are you all? Hi, we're fine. Thanks. Hi. How about you? Fine, thanks. Okay, so here we're just talking about our last topic, uh, some of the main, main differences between the present perfect simple and the present perfect uh, continuous. And um, Hajar was just telling me that the present perfect continuous in the beginning, the first example, where we talked about the publishing, um, the company has been publishing guidebooks for 40 years. So this is an activity that started in the past and it's still going on until today, it didn't stop, it hasn't stopped. And the second one, it's a state. So the company or the book has been a bestseller since it was published in uh, 1973. So this is the, the idea. Now, I want to take you to the next point in the grammar exercise. So here, if you check the grammar exercise in part B, it says fill in the gaps for the present perfect continuous with have, haven't, or I think this is has in the short form, hasn't, and we also have been, or verb plus ing. So, so here we're just talking about the form of the present perfect, perfect continuous, that's all. So here, these are present perfect continuous examples. Let's complete them. So Malak, how do we form or how do we make the present perfect continuous in the positive? What do we use? Um, in positive, uh... Uh, we use the um, subject and uh, have or has okay. and uh, verb uh, in past participle. Um, mm, are you sure? Do we yes. use the past participle? In, in yes. present perfect continuous, not simple. Continuous uh, verb plus ing. Right, but you forgot something. Can, can you see it here in, in, in the example, in the box? Yes. So what do we have? So the subject, this is the first part. Uh -huh. Then you have have, and then you have been. Then verb plus ing. That's it. So this means here we have to use have or what's the other has. option? Has. But can we use has with they, we, you? Can no, we use, no. Mm -hmm. um, maybe um, uh, in positive. Are, in positive we use, uh, yes, have, uh, have positive, yes. Yeah, so the short form, right? Mm -hmm. So this means you can say I've, you can say, uh, you've, we've, they've, right? So the short yeah. form. Uh, okay, and if you use he, she, it? Has, uh, has or uh, has uh, um, s. That's correct. Sure. Yeah, so you can say he's, she's, it's been, and what do we use after that? Uh, verb plus ing. All right, that's it, verb plus ing. Okay, what about the negative, Azure? How do we form the negative of present perfect continuous? What do we need to use? Uh, we use with the first one, 
uh, haven't. Okay. Oh. Plus pen plus verb ing. Uh -huh. And in the second one, he, she, it plus um, hasn't plus been plus verb ing. That's correct. Hasn't uh, been. plus been plus uh, verb plus ing. That's it. So this is the overall form of how to make uh, or how to form the present continuous, present uh, perfect continuous. But remember the use or how we use it. The, one of the ways we use it or the general way we use it is to talk about an activity that started in the past. So for example, if you want to talk about your English learning, you can say, I've started learning English, or you can say, I've been learning English. It's better, I think. I've been learning English since 1999, or I've been learning English since 2005. So because this is an activity and it's still going on, uh, it's a little better to use the, the present perfect continuous instead of using the pre present perfect simple in this situation. Okay, so we talked about the form and we know how to make a positive and we know how to make a negative uh, present perfect. Now, I want you to take a look at the next part, part C here. And if you take a closer look, you will notice that we have two rules and these rules, they're, they're telling us how to make um, the present perfect uh, uh, continuous or when to use it to be more precise here if you take a look here it says choose the correct words so we usually use the present perfect continuous or simple to say how long an activity has been happening and then it says we usually use the present perfect continuous or simple to say how many things are finished so before you guess of course it's a lot easier if I take you to number three and four to take a look. So here, take a look at number three and four in the article and tell me which one do you think talks about, which one talks about how long and, uh, and which one talks about how many. So Malak, can you read number three uh, in bold? Okay. Um, I uh, I um, guide which lonely one? guide lonely planet here and uh, number three the bold sentence this one can you see the mouse yes yes yeah no uh, lonely uh, planet has published over uh, six hundred and fifty uh, books. Since the company began. Okay. All right. And number four, can you read it? Hello? Dear television company, Lovely Planet uh, TV has been making programs since 2004. All right. So these are the two examples. Which one of them do you think talks about how many? And which one of them talks about how long? The first one, how many? The second okay. one, how long? Yeah. Okay. And the first one, is it in the present perfect simple or is it in the continuous? Uh, simple, present uh, perfect uh, simple. Okay. And the second one? Uh, present perfect continuous. Uh -huh. So this means if you want to complete the rule here, which one will you use for the first rule? Can you read the first rule? Here, we usually use. Um, we usually use the present perfect continuous sim uh, or simple uh, to say how long an activity has been happen happening. Mm -hmm. So, which one do you want to choose? Do you want to choose the continuous or the simple to say how long? Uh, how long uh, is uh, is continuous? Uh, do you want to check the example again? Yes. Take a look. Yeah. yeah, take a look at it. Mm -hmm. 
yes, a box. Yes, uh, how long for uh, for present uh, perfect uh, continuous? Correct. This means how many is for the, which one? Uh, present perfect sample. That's it. This is the idea. So generally speaking, if you want to say how long you've been doing something, maybe the present perfect uh, continuous is better. But if you want to say how many, maybe how many times you've done something, uh, the present perfect simple is better. Hajar, can you give me two examples from your own life? One of them in the present perfect simple and maybe another one in the present perfect continuous. A tip that might help you is, if you want to say how many times you've done a certain action, you can use the simple, present perfect simple. But if you want to focus more on some on the on the period or the duration and, and how long you've been doing something, it's better for you to use the present per excuse me, the present perfect uh, continuous. Uh, okay. Uh... And we can write them here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have been learning uh, English since uh, 2015. Okay, let's write this. I've been I've been learning English Okay. Mm. Can you use present perfect simple? An example of present perfect simple. Okay. And a, a useful tip is to use a state or to talk about the number of times you've experienced something, if you want. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for example, going to a country more than once, visiting a country more than once, trying some kind of food okay. more than once, things like this. Yeah. Um, uh, I have been... Uh... I have been traveling, traveling uh, to Egypt. No, it's not correct, yes. Uh, it's correct, but it will be present perfect continuous. I've been traveling yeah. to, to Egypt for 10 years. It means going and coming, going and coming for 10 years you've been doing this. It's, it's a good sentence, uh, yeah. but it, it's more about the duration. It's focusing more mm -hmm. on, on how long you've been doing this action. But you didn't tell me how many times you've been to Egypt. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I have been to Egypt um, four times. Excellent. This is a good example. I've mm -hmm. been to Egypt four times. Is that true? Is it a real example? Yeah. Yeah, it's real. Which one was your your best visit? The first or the last? Um, the second, maybe? Uh, the third one. The third one was the best? The best. Mm. Yeah. And did you... Because the last one, it was... Um, um, a less. <laughs> ah, treatment. Um, it was just a, a, a treatment. Treatment, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, for me, I've been twice to Egypt. I think the second was better. Yeah, yeah first one because uh, it was. Um, I was um, younger, mm -hmm. and the second one. I went with my mother and father only. Mm -hmm. 
and but the third one we went with uh, my, my mother father sister and uh, her husband and my brother so oh. it was the whole family good Ah, oh, the nice. whole family, yeah. <laughs> and and did you go to the go to Cairo? And it was in Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan, interesting. Yeah, Cairo. Yeah. Mm, that's nice. Yeah. They say Egypt in Ramadan is really cool. Is that true? Um, not true. Really. <laughs> not really. You didn't it's like it. Um, it, it, you mean you prefer it when it's not Ramadan? Uh, I didn't like, but uh, yeah, the Egypt uh, time uh, uh, it's fun. So, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be the in same. Ramadan. It's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, you see what you mean. The last, the last uh, time, I went to Scandria because the flight uh, stopped there. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I just stayed there one day in Scandria, but it was nice. Mm. It's um, it's similar to Tripoli, I think. Yeah, I've heard people say that before. The yeah. weather there, yeah, the weather, the uh, yeah, the mood. You mean it doesn't like the yeah, it doesn't like uh, the Egypt uh, streets. Mm. It's more quiet. Yeah, it's not like yeah. Cairo. Mm. Yeah, it's not like Cairo. Ah, okay, okay. So, so these the are... people who doesn't like the crowded uh, country, exactly, exactly, can better. go to country. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so these are two nice, nice examples. They're quite interesting. Let's see, Malak. Malak, can you think of two examples similar to Hajar's examples? One of them using the present perfect continuous, and another example using the pre present perfect simple. Um, of course, the general idea here is if you want to talk about how long you've been doing something, it's better to use the present perfect continuous. But if you want to say how many times you've experienced something, present perfect simple is better. Okay. Uh, I've been uh, visiting uh, Turkey um, since uh, 2019. All right. I've okay. I I've, I've been Turkey since. And if you want to use the present perfect simple, what? What you say, please? If you want to use the present perfect simple. Okay. Um, I've uh, been uh, uh, read uh, um, uh, read uh, three books. Uh, uh, three books uh, uh, last week or no? Last week. Last week now. Uh, yes. Uh, you can Last say week. you can say this year or you can say this week. This week, yes, this week. Okay, but can you repeat your example from the beginning, please? Okay. I've uh, um, I've read or I've read. I've been uh, I read. Yes, I read. Uh, Do we use been or without been? With been. Are you sure? No. <laughs> <laughs> because bin, we use it with the continuous, right? Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I've read uh, three books uh, this week. Okay, this is a good example. I've read, I've read three, I've read three books this week. 
Okay, this is good. Can you use an example using bin? Can you use a simple with bin? Uh, if uh, I uh, told uh, someone with the, uh, uh, about the place, maybe. Okay, about yeah. Yes, correct. Can you give me an example about a place maybe you visited more okay. than once? I've uh, been... Uh, I've been uh, to Turkey um, four, four times. That's it. I've been to Turkey four times. I've been to Turkey twice, maybe. Okay, okay very good. So this is the, the, the general idea or some of the differences between uh, present perfect simple, present perfect continuous. Uh, now, it says, look at questions number one uh and four in exercise uh four how do we make present perfect continuous questions with how long and how do we make present perfect simple questions with how many so let me take you to question uh number one here uh here it is So they want us to talk about this and they want us to talk about this. So how do we make a question using present perfect uh, continuous? What, what are the, the parts we use? What's the form? How, how can we do it, Hajir? What, what do we need to use here with the present perfect continuous? The form mm -hmm. means? Uh, the form, it means uh, okay. the parts, the parts of a present perfect continuous question. Yeah. Mm. And you can see yes. it in front of you. This is how long? This is an example of one yeah. of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long less ha have or has? Mm -hmm. uh, then only plant uh, the subject plus right. subject. Correct. Plus pen plus uh, verb with ing. That's it. Excellent. And if you want to do the same thing with the present perfect simple, how can we make a question using present perfect simple? We use how many mm -hmm. plus the verb. Um, Plus the verb. What's the verb? Plus has. Books, Books. is it a verb? Oh, no, no, it's <laughs> not. No. Uh, with subject. Is, is books the has subject? Object. <laughs> is it object. The, is it the, the, the object? Yeah. Yes, I think it's object or no. It is the object, but um, usually they put it together with the question, how many books? Um, so the subject is actually Lonely Planet. Lonely Planet is the subject. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, published, it's, uh, it's, your, it's, it's the your verb. verb. It's the verb, the past participle yeah. verb. Yeah. Yeah. Past participle verb. But books, I'm not sure if it's the object. I think it might be. Book. Yeah, because the, the company is publishing books. So the books is the, the object, if you think about it. But usually in the form, we don't write it as an object. We just squeeze it with the question. Um, let me show you how they usually do it in, in, uh, in the book. But Malak might be right. It could be the, the object. If you take a look here on, uh, on page 100. Because it's four. the book, uh, the form. Okay. Uh-huh, Hajar, yeah, because? Um, because it's uh, the book, uh, we use it how many books or uh, this is the form. Mm, yeah, correct. It's, it's part of uh, how long has this is another way of making the, the question. Can you see it? 
here, take a look, Haja. How many books? Mm -hmm. So they yeah. put it. They put it with the question yeah. together with the question itself, and then you have uh, the auxiliary has or have. Has. Then you have the subject, lonely mm -hmm. planet. Then you have published, which is the past participle. But uh, but I think Malak is right. We can mm -hmm. consider books the uh, the object because it's the thing the that the, that the subject publishes right if you think of it so it is the object yeah. in a way yeah also how many countries same thing yeah, yeah. okay okay so we got okay. that right so uh, this means if you take a look at uh, the quick summary here of the present perfect simple present perfect continuous it's pretty much everything we said we agreed that uh, the present perfect continuous is for activities and you can see this this timeline is quite clear. It's nice. So has been publishing for 40 years. The action started 40 years ago. It's going on. It's happening until today. And the same thing with the state. Uh, the, the book became a bestseller in 1973. And it is still a bestseller until now. So it has been a bestseller. Um, any other tips? Ah, this this is very nice. Okay, Malak, would you can you please read these tips? Let's start with the first one. Um, okay. So here it's going to to show us when to use the continuous and when to use the um, the simple. Of course, we agreed that if you want to talk about an activity, the duration, how long, continuous is better. Present perfect continuous is of course better. But there are, there's also this point about the verbs, which verbs are better with the continuous and which verbs are better with the simple. Okay, can you read the first point, please? What does it say? Okay, uh, we often use the present perfect continuous with verbs that talk about uh, longer activities. Learn, rain, try, play, work, read, wait, it's... I've been learning English for uh, five years. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is one tip that might help you. Um, if you have verbs which are for longer activities, maybe it's better to use uh, the present perfect continuous instead of using the, the simple. But what about the second tip here, Hajar? What does it say? Can you take a look at this? Can you, can you tell me what they're trying to tell us here? Okay, uh, we don't usually use present continuous with verbs that talk about short actions. Start, find, lose, break, buy, stop, etc. Uh, I have started a course, not I have been starting a course. Mm. So what, what are they saying here exactly? Um, we, we don't use it with the state verbs. Correct, correct. Yes, you can say these are state verbs, if you think of them. By, but by, is it a state verb? Because you, you can say I'm buying a car. It's not really a state verb, I think. Mm -hmm. but, but it is a verb with a short action. Right? Yeah. Because it's not something that takes a long time. You can't say I've been buying a car for two years. <laughs> it means you're in you're in front of the, the car dealership and for two years, you know, holding the money. It doesn't make sense. So you can just say I've bought two cars because it's a shorter action. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot better to use the simple. So this is what they're telling us really. Uh, you have to be smart about the verb you're using, because if you check the first group that Malak read, all of them are long action verbs, reading, playing, long, yeah. yeah, working, so they, they work a little better with the, with the continuous. Okay, can you read the last tip for us, please, Azure? The last one? What does it say here? Okay. Uh, with some verbs, both verb forms are possible. I have left or I have left 
been or I have been living here for five years. He is worked or he's been working in Australia since uh, 2011. Okay, now in this situation, both of them are possible and both of them are correct. But what do you think the meaning is, Hajib, between okay. saying he's worked in Australia since 2011, he's worked in Australia since 2011, and he's been working in Australia since 2011. Do you think it's the same meaning or? He's still working there. Okay. When he's, uh, he, he thought uh, he has been working in Australia since 2011. But, but for example, he's worked uh, in Australia since 2011. Does this mean he stopped working? Yeah. But what about he worked in Australia? For, no, for 10 when years. He is, when he has been being work, uh, um, maybe he came back to his country or something. Okay. When he said he has, okay, he has worked in Australia since, since 2011. Huh? Um, means um, he doesn't work there anymore. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm, let's see. Maybe mm -hmm. let's see what Malak thinks. Malak, what do you think? So here we're trying to I find think, if... uh, the same. Um, uh, maybe uh, the difference is uh, in duration. Maybe one is longer than the. The other, but but they both started in two thousand and eleven. Yes, but so, uh, so how can one be longer than the other if they started at the same time? But uh, it uh, didn't uh, finish. I think uh, it's uh, still okay. Which one is still? Is it he's worked in Australia since two thousand and eleven, or is it? He's been working in Australia since 2011. Or is it for both? That they're still working in both situations? I think the same meaning. Mm, you're kind of right. Generally speaking, generally speaking, it's the same. There's no difference. Both started in 2011. Both are still in Australia. And both haven't stopped working. They're still working. But there is a very small, very teeny, teeny, meeny, teeny difference. Can you tell what it is, Hazard, maybe? So let me show you what's similar between the two sentences. Both are still working in Australia. Both are still in Australia itself and both started at the same time. Okay. So what do you think mm. the difference is? It's a very, by, by the way, it's a very minor difference. Yeah. Okay, so let me, let me tell you, the, the idea here is only about emphasis. What do you want to emphasize for the listener? So let's say I'm uh, trying okay. to, to advertise this, this employee, or let's say I'm trying to write him a very good uh, recommendation letter and I want to emphasize uh, I want to emphasize the period right the length the duration so I mm -hmm. will probably use uh, the ing form the, the continuous so I'll say he's been working for our company since 1995 or he's been working here since 1995 for example so here I'm emphasizing length periods so the person He's been working in Australia mm -hmm. since 2011. The listener, a native listener, will probably think of the years. He'll try to calculate. Mm, that's a long time. Nine years is, is a good time. But if I say he's worked in Australia since 2011, this feels more as an experience that he's worked in Australia. He's also worked in, in Hong Kong. He's worked in, the, in California. He's worked in... Do you get the idea? I think so. It's, it's, uh, it's more about the location rather than the period. So, so in reality, Malak, mm -hmm. did you say something? 
Yes, uh, I ask you, uh, did he stop uh, in no. the present perfect continuous? In, in both no. examples, he didn't stop. He's yeah. still working. Okay. With the present perfect, if you use present perfect, the, the, usually it doesn't mean the action is over. The action is still going on. Uh, but the only, like I said, the only difference is the, what are but you emphasizing? Is, uh, yeah. yeah, with been working, you're emphasizing period, length. But the other one, uh, I've mm -hmm. worked in Australia, or he's worked. There more there's more emphasis on the place itself in Australia, the, the yeah, ra rather mm -hmm. than South Africa or rather than Libya. He's worked in Australia. Mm, nice. How, that must be good. Uh, so it's a bit like this. But in reality, there's you know for practical reasons, mm, okay. you can say it's the same. Really, this is just a very minor difference. Okay, so the rest of it, I think, is kind of clear. Mm, let's take a look if there are any tips worth mentioning. Okay, we have a few. Oh, nice. This one is also useful. Let's take a look at these last tips before we do the exercise. So, uh, Malek, can you please read the first tip here? Okay. We often use the present perfect continuous to talk about the activity. Uh, we have been doing, I've been doing my homework. We don't know if the homework is finished or not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. we, and... often, mm -hmm. we often use uh, the present perfect uh, simple to say an activity is finished. I've uh, done my homework. The homework is finished now. Okay, so now we have a little contradiction. So here, this example, I've done my homework. They're telling us that the action is finished. But, but here, if we go back to the one in Australia, he's worked in Australia since 2005, 2011. We said that this is not finished. So how is it? Is it finished or not finished? What do you think? Why is it okay here for this to be finished and this is not finished? What do you think? Uh, because we used the verb sense. In, um... That's it. The secret is since. The first, the first one. Exactly. It's not a verb since. I think it's... Uh... Yeah, it's it's a, it's a time phrase. It's a time phrase used with the yeah. perfect uh, present perfect with the perfect tense. Exactly right, Hajri. Yes, mm -hmm. and if you see the timeline, can you see this one? The one about the, the book. It has been mm -hmm. a bestseller since. So whenever you hear the word since, it it means it's still going on from that point in history. It's still going on till today, but the way the way we're using. Uh, the homework example, I've done my homework. This sounds, uh, you know, the homework is, is finished. But if you say I've been doing my homework, then it's not really finished yet, right? So I've been doing my homework. Uh, sorry, just give me a second. Let's, let me put my noisy cat away. Um, okay, so you can see here in this, these two examples, um, I've been doing my homework. We're not sure if you're finished or not. I've been doing my homework, but I've done my homework. It feels more like something is finished. Okay, now, yeah, this one is clear. We already did it in the exercise. Uh, we agreed that the present perfect continuous is, is better for how long, excuse me, and the present perfect simple is better for how many. Uh, just like your examples about Turkey and Egypt, um, I've been to Egypt four times, I've been to the UK once, I've tried sushi once, for example, so present perfect simple. But if it's a duration thing, I've been learning English for two years. 
I've been working in this company for five years. If you want to say how long, or if you want to emphasize period, present perfect continuous is your is uh, is better. It's more suitable. Okay, and I have a question now. Go ahead. And, uh, tips. Mm -hmm. And the tips. Why we say uh, the action is finished? Uh, the homework is uh, because the internet is. Uh, Okay, good question. Now, the idea here, why this is finished, I've done my homework. And yeah. for example, the other one, he's been working or he's worked in Australia since 2011, is not finished. And the same thing here, if you check this box, it has been a bestseller when we were talking about the book, remember? It has been a bestseller since, to, since 1973. So here it's it's not finished. It's still a bestseller. The main difference is because of since. Uh, here, since. So since is talking about a state. Uh, and also bestseller is a state. So this okay. book has this book has been a bestseller since that time until today. It's the same. The situation hasn't changed. The action is not over. Do you get the idea? Yeah. yeah. But but here when you say I've done my homework, uh, done, I don't know, in this situation with homework, homework uh, isn't something you do for a very long time. Um, and we don't have since, right? There's... Yeah. So this is this is why it feels like it's finished. I think this is the, the best re reason I can come up with, to be honest. Um, okay, let me take you to the next last part. Okay. Okay, so the last, the very last uh, tip. Um, can, can, you, can you read this one, please, Hajar? Tell us what you, what you get from this tip. Okay. Uh, we can also make uh, questions with the present perfect symbol and how much plus now, uh, how, many, how much money have you spent so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So instead of using how many, um, you can also use how much. Yes, how much. Yeah, especially if you use an uncountable noun. How much money have you got or, or have you spent? Or for example, how much water have you drank? Drunk, should be drunk. How much water have you drunk? Because it's past participle. Do you get the idea? Or how much time have yeah. you wasted? So it's another way of making uh, present perfect simple questions. Okay, so I think you're ready for the exercises. Let me take you to the exercises. So here we have number six. Okay, so it says here, put the verb in brackets in present simple continuous or present simple, uh, sorry, present uh, perfect continuous or present perfect uh, simple. So your option is continuous or simple. It says here, use the present perfect continuous where possible and uh, choose for or since. So you also have a second kind of part of the question. You might need to use for or since when necessary. But if you check the tip here, they, I think they want you to use the, they want you to prioritize uh, the continuous. Do you get the idea? So whenever you can use the continuous. If you can't, if it's impossible, just use the, the simple. Okay, so I'm going to give you a minute or so. I want you to check these examples, number one to eight. Take a look at all of them. And when you're ready, just tell me we're ready and we can check them, okay? So start preparing.
Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so let's start. So number two, Malek, you can start with number two. Okay. How long uh, have you been traveling? Okay, let's write it. How long have you been traveling? Yeah. Okay, Hazard, what about the next one? Uh, Scout um, has been re uh, writing books uh, since 2006. Mm, okay, let's put the answers here. Has been writing. So, has been writing writing books since and let's circle since all right nice okay malak what about number four uh, number four he has uh, written five books so far okay so he has written five books so far all right number five has it uh they haven't uh, they uh, they haven't playing golf for long. Can you try it again? Maybe didn't. Didn't? Oh, they didn't. They, huh. But this they is. They haven't. Mm -hmm. No, they haven't play golf for long. Uh, ha haven't. Play, is it play? A plate. Played with an ED. Yeah. Okay, so they haven't played. They haven't played golf. Is it since or is it for? For. Okay. Um, what do you think, Malek? I think they didn't. Uh, uh, they didn't uh, have been playing for uh, since uh, uh, for long. Can we use uh, "didn't" with the present perfect? No, haven't. Mm -hmm. They haven't mm -hmm. playing. Uh, they haven't been uh, playing. They haven't been playing okay. for, uh, for long. Okay, so we have two answers, but let me write both your answers. Yeah, that's my answer for the first time. But it was it, yeah, but you didn't say it like that. You, I don't know what you said, but are you sure that's what I you said? Think, yeah. I think you said yeah. the perfect symbol. Okay. No, the second time I used present uh, sample, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Okay, so let me write both your... Uh, so you want the same answer. That, that means you're, you want the same answer, Hanji, the one that Malak said. Um, no, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> we, uh, let's write the both answers. Okay, so what was your first answer, uh, Hanji? It's like what Malak said, but uh, I... Do it again. They haven't. They haven't played golf for long. Okay. And Malak, you said they haven't been playing golf for long, right? Yeah. Okay, what about number six? How long uh, has he been having uh, that car? Okay.
Mm, what do you think of this example, Hajj? Would you do it differently? Number, um, um, I, number actually, six? Actually, um, I don't know. I stuck with this example. Mm, okay, give us your guess, whatever you, you came up with. Why you think it is wrong? No, I didn't say wrong. I'm just uh, no. wondering what what uh, maybe, what she thinks. Yeah. Uh, because even if it is wrong, I won't tell you now. I'll, I won't tell the answers first, and then I'll tell you. How long? I think you when you ask about another uh, another uh, answer. <laughs> you think so it's like an in, indirect way of telling you you're wrong yes <laughs> okay malak if you have another answer you can you can add it if you want no i, I think, think that's the, the very best answer the, the, final yeah, answer i think that what malak says yeah okay 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 now, what about number seven? What do you think, Hazard, of number seven? Um, I have no one, Zach, for we were kids. Okay. So. Uh, what do you think, Malak, of, of this? I think uh, it's wrong. Um, I've been uh, knowing um, since we were kids, yes. Uh, you want to use since? You don't want to use for? Because, mm, no. because Hajar used for. Since, since we were kids. But uh, the answer, I think, is wrong. It's wrong. Okay. I've been, I've been knowing. Okay, let's write it. Knowing Zach since we were kids. Okay, what about the last one? Mm. Um, the last one um, is uh, we... Uh, we have uh, been uh, waiting uh, for two hours. Mm. Okay. Okay, now I'm not sure if the listening has this part. Uh, but let me see. I'm not sure if it has it. Let's find the listening track. So we want CD1 track 24. Sit on track twenty four. I've been working here for six months. How long have you been traveling? Scott's been writing books since two thousand and six. He's written five books so far. They haven't been playing golf for long. How long has he had that car? I've known Zach since we were kids. We've been waiting for two hours.
Uh, okay. So, Maybe uh, it's the, she's right. Yes, uh, about uh, about seven. But since not four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's the first thing we need to correct. Why? But uh, we talked uh, about uh, how long. For, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, why we use sense here? We don't use for. I know. I know it. why we use the oh, sense. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Think yeah. About the meaning. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I've known. Uh, that's what my uh, problem. Good question. And the same thing happened with number six, right? Number six. Yeah. It's how here, long? I think. Uh, yeah, number six. Why? Why is having grown here? How long has he been having? Why isn't it correct? What do you think? Number six. Uh, maybe I don't. Uh, um, uh, he said, "How long that he that he uh, haven't." Or have um, uh, I didn't listen? You uh, say about uh, present perfect uh, symbol about uh, uh, how many, but Correct. here number seven we don't have uh, any number. Correct, because there's another rule or another tip. Yeah. Um, yeah. But but first of all, let me repeat uh, the CD, the listening again, okay. so you can listen to your answers okay. again, and then I'll show you the other rule. Mm -hmm. Track 24. I've been working here for six months. Okay, can you repeat it? I've been working for um, here for, for, for six, six months. months. Okay. How long have you been traveling? How long, How have, long you have you been traveling? Scott's been writing books since 2006. Scott Scott's has been writing books for since 2006. Yeah, but did she say Scott has been writing or did she say Scott's been writing? Scott's, Scott's has been writing. Yeah, mm -hmm. so they used has as a contraction with Scott, right? Yeah. Scott's been writing. Scott's, Scott's been writing. Okay. Now let's listen to number four. He's written five books so far. Mm -hmm. He's written five books he so far. He has written four, five books so far. Okay. They haven't been playing golf for long. Mm -hmm. They haven't been playing golf for long. Oh, they right. haven't been playing golf or for uh, long. That's correct. So the correct one is this one. They haven't been playing yeah. golf for long. They haven't been playing golf for long. So what does this mean when we say they haven't been playing golf for long? Believe you, Krishna Pastam. What's mine? Liham halba malabosh. Golf. Malabosh min madde. Yani. Okay, what about this one? What about this one, man? Uh, golf, not gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does this mean? Believe me. هم ما لعبوش لفترة طويلة. والأولى اللي درناها مع بعض. ما ما لعبوش. زي نفس المعنى. No, they're not the same meaning. It's actually quite different. The first one here in Tegulta, and they haven't played golf for a long time. Lihum fetra ma lagabush golf. Like a tanya mishnafsaman. Uh, 
Okay, we'll come back to this. Now, number six, um, let's listen to it. Let me play it so you can hear it again. So listen and repeat. How long has he had that car? How long? How long has he had that car? He had had that car. Uh, Malek, I think your your television is a little too loud. Okay, not loud, but uh, the mic. Maybe you're sitting uh, too close to it. Uh, can you repeat it, Hajar? Number six. What did you hear? How long has he oh. haven't he have? Maybe so. <laughs> Yeah, let, let me repeat it. Again. Yeah, 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 listen yeah. again. That car. Sorry. How long has he had that car? Hmm? He has had the car. Yeah. Uh, has he had that car? That's it. How hmm. long has he had? Has he? Has he had? No, it's strong. <laughs> Yeah, how long has he had that car? Okay, so let's cover this part. But but let's leave it because we want to talk about it. Okay, next one. Oops. Track 24. Back since we was he had that car. Okay. Okay, next one. I've known Zach since we were kids. We've been waiting. I have known Zach since we were kids. Correct. Correct. We've, we've been waiting for two since two hours or four. What do you think? Is it two or since? Is it four or since? I think four. When do we use four? When four. do we use since? Four. We know we have the duration now. When we talk yeah. about um, uh, the duration, a special uh, period uh, of time. It's uh, yes, period yeah. of time. Uh, yes, we use tense when we talk about uh, the point of uh, the tense or uh, something uh, at. يعني فترة محددة يعني محددينها. Correct. Since it means you're talking about a point in history in the past, where when the action started and it's still going on until today. Um, okay, now back to question number five and question number uh, six. Maybe six and seven. Six. I think your I think your question was about uh, five and six, right? Uh, yes. Ah, also why seven. Is, uh, how long? Why we use how long here? Uh, uh, not in uh, present uh, perfect continuous. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Not in the continuous. We used it in the present we perfect tense. Uh, how long with present perfect continuous? Yeah. Now let me show you some of the rules here. Now take a look at the left side of the book here. It says we usually use the present perfect continuous to talk about an activity that started in the past and it continues to the present. So if you're talking about an activity, an activity, it's better to use the continuous. Just like the example with uh, when we used uh, uh, the one about playing. How long have they, um, uh, this one, they haven't been playing uh, golf for long. Here, playing is better because this is an activity. It's better to use the, it's better to use the continuous for activities. Do you get the idea? So the first rule is, if it's an activity that started in the past and continues today, use the present perfect continuous. But if it's a state that started in the past and continues to the present, use the present perfect simple. So my question is, is it a state or is it an activity to have a car? What do you think? State or activity? Having a car. State. Uh, uh -huh. It's a state, right? 
and have have is a state verb so this mm -hmm. means it's better to use for possession it's better to use state verbs and use the present perfect simple and actually the same thing for no i've known right because no is a state verb it, do it doesn't make sense to use it in the continuous okay so now we know why number six and seven why we use the simple and we didn't use the continuous but what about number five what's the meaning they haven't been playing golf for long what do you think the meaning is they haven't been playing golf for maybe long. the first one is a stopped played uh, for a long time and uh, until now maybe they stopped uh, playing but uh, at the second no didn't stop yeah they maybe uh, they will play again uh, you mean they haven't played golf for a long time mm. the first one they haven't played golf uh, for a long time they stopped played and they didn't play it uh, and maybe they didn't uh, play it again but what maybe about what about uh, they didn't play golf. Uh, maybe they will uh, play again. Which one they will play again? The second, the second one, they haven't been playing uh, golf uh, for long. No? Mm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hazard, what do you think? But they haven't been playing golf for long. <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> okay, let's let me look for another example similar to this. Okay. Uh, okay. So I think we haven't been talking for long about uh, about the present perfect simple. Uh, about I mean we haven't been talking about it for long. It's just the the, the first. This is the first. The, the second lesson. So we haven't been talking about it for long, I think. This is just the second lesson. Uh, please repeat it again. So this topic, the, the differences between the present perfect simple and the present perfect yeah. continuous is one of the things that we haven't been talking about for long because we just started it in our last lesson. So it's still a new topic. We've just started yeah. it. We, we haven't been talking about it for long. Mm -hmm. mm, so what do you get from that? Um, and the length is less They haven't. No. Okay, go, go back to the to my old example, the one about uh, the one about yeah, we we haven't we haven't discussed this topic for long. That's all I'm saying. It's still it's still new, it's still fresh. So we haven't we haven't talked about it for long. We haven't been talking about it for long. Mm. هو قاعدين نتكلم عليها يا معناها ما نقدروش نقولوا ما تكلمناش عليها لان هو حاليا نتكلموا عليها قاعدين يعني ما لناش مده بدانا نتكلموا عليها مش فتره هي هذه يعني كاننا نقولوا كيف كيف بدانا نقولوا فيه الموضوع we've just started talking about it but we haven't been talking about it for long We've just started talking about it. It's only the second lesson compared mm -hmm. compared to the present simple. We've been talking about the present simple for, for a very long time. We've been talking about it. But the present yeah. perfect continuous in comparison, we haven't been talking about it as long as the present simple, for example, or the alphabet, right? Because those things, mm -hmm. we've been talking yeah. about them for a very long time. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I believe musician in Guru Manahan. 
بتاع الجولف هذا كيف كيف نديروها بالليبي؟ مش يعني مش مدة طويلة هما ما لعبوش مش من مدة طويلة ممكن هما يلعبوا حاليا يعني بس في لحظة تتكلم هما يلعبوا اوكي معناها كأنك تقولي ما لهمش هلبة كيف بدو كان بتلاحظ كيف بدو الشوت مليون شالبه كيف بدو they haven't been playing for long it means they have been playing ليهم فتره يلعبوا but not for long yeah you get the idea they've just mm-hmm. started playing they've just mm-hmm. started playing they haven't been playing for long you can catch up if you want okay so it's a bit like it's a bit like that But if you want to do it, they haven't played for a long time. So uh, maybe they finished after two or three months. No, they haven't okay. played for a long time. Uh, okay. So it's like when you say, I haven't studied English. I haven't, I haven't taken a course for a, for a very long time. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to Egypt, for example, for me, I haven't been mm-hmm. to Egypt for a long time because my last visit mm-hmm. was in, it was in 2008. So I haven't been to Egypt in a long time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the first one is uh, the, uh, the action is completed or something yeah. that happened. You mean that they haven't like played? like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. It means, because it's negative, you have to keep in mind. It means from the mm-hmm. moment, uh, there's a moment in the pla- in the past. But this one, for a long time, if you want, you can change it with since. We can just give a date. Mm-hmm. So they haven't yeah. played golf since 2010. You can easily change mm-hmm. it with since. 2010 and now you have a specific uh, date okay uh, mm-hmm. but the second one they haven't been playing for long you cannot use since or for here um, yeah. because just, they are playing they are playing but the yeah. best way if you want to paraphrase it you can say it like this you can say They've just started playing. They've yeah. just give them do. They've just It's started. more straight. Yeah, of course. This one is, is a lot easier to say it like this. They've just yeah. they've just started playing golf. Uh, and here they haven't been playing golf for long. If you want to talk about beginners. كيف بدو يلعب في الجولف؟ They haven't been playing golf for long. Yeah. كيف بادين في في اللعبة هذه ما هماش professional. They've just started playing mm-hmm. golf. They're new to the game. They've just started. They're beginners. You get the idea? Because they they don't play yeah. very well. They're not very good players. So they must have just started playing golf. All right. So this is how you can use the present perfect simple, the present perfect continuous. Of course, you need to do more exercises um, in your workbook. It will be a lot clearer when you do some exercises in your workbook. You, I think you'll get it. So um, here, we don't have to draw a timeline, but let's... Um, Let's talk a little bit about, I'm going to give you a few minutes to, to sort of collect your ideas, okay? So what I want you to do in this exercise, I want you to, to think of all these, uh, let's call them um, highlights of your life, or sometimes they call them milestones. Um, I don't know if you've known this word, milestone. Have you heard of this word, this expression? A milestone? No, no. Okay. No. A milestone is like a very important event in your life. 
the day you graduated, uh, the day you got married, the day you got your first job, the day you got your first salary, the, you know, these are milestones. Or the first time you traveled on your own, the, 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 the day you, your first son or daughter was born, things like that. These are milestones. They're like important events in your life, okay? So here, I want you to, to talk about some of these things. And I'll give you an example <clears throat> about myself. So I can say I've, I've met uh, or I've known, let's say, I've known my best friend for, I think, five, I've known my best friend for 15 years. Okay, so I've known my best friend for 15 years. Or you can say, I've met my best friend, uh, or I've been friends with, uh, I've been friends with him since 2004. Alaikum salam. Hi. The connection is uh, very poor and uh, I, uh, I don't know what uh, happened with me because I, um, um, I don't know what I will come <laughs> because it's the connection. I don't know what happened with me uh, from, uh, I tried to connect with you, but uh, I couldn't because the internet uh, lost the connection. And uh, now it's okay. I will back to you. <laughs> it, it sounds like a Mexican series. It's like you lost your memory for maybe yeah, 30 well, minutes. I... <laughs> really? Because uh, uh, I don't know. Because I prepare myself before the, the lesson mm -hmm. and uh, waiting for uh, you to send us the link. Mm -hmm. After that, I con I connected with you and I speak with you. You did? Yes. I don't think you did. I think yeah. you're, you're yeah. imagining yeah. that. Yeah. 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 No, no. no. I she's, she's imagining <laughs> she it. She did. <laughs> wink, wink. No. <laughs> <laughs> but after that, when you yeah, lost, she you did like a revision called. for the lis uh, last listening. I think yeah. you're, talking, you're talking about the last lesson, Sana. I think you're talking about the, not this one. You're talking no, about no. Uh, no, she connected with us. She yeah. called us. She did? Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I think you After are me. your your your, your uh, memory uh, lost in the Mexico, not me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, what uh, one minute. Okay, I will back to you. Okay, okay? take your time. Um, so, so the idea here, uh, you just use the present perfect uh, simple or continuous, depends on the, the verb you want to use and depends on the situation, and talk about yourself. So uh, the example I used, uh, I can say, I've known my friend, I've known my best friend since 2005, okay? And, uh, or I can say, uh, I've had my computer uh for 11 years i've had my computer for 11 years and i've been using my phone uh since 2018. do you get the idea so you can mix here depending on the verb you're using between the present perfect simple and the present perfect simple uh continuous i mean so use any of these topics and just give us a few examples, similar to the ones you did about uh, both of you, uh, Hajar and Malak, the ones you did with Egypt and Turkey and traveling. So we want, we want something similar. This is what we really want. Okay, so let's start with Hajar. Give us a few examples. They don't have to be a lot, but let's say four examples and you can choose whatever you want. 
simple, continuous, it doesn't matter, as long as you're using the right tense for the right, for a suitable verb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I have uh, known my best friend uh, since uh, 2004. Okay, let's write this. known my best friend uh, since 2000 since 2004 okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have been learning English uh, uh, since 2000 uh, 15. Can you use for instead? Or, okay, oh, oh, yeah. I have been learning English for a long time. For a long time. Or you can, you can even put a date. For a long time. You can say, I've been learning English for, yeah. if you started in 2005, 15, this means is, this is five years, right? Five years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, sorry. Um, uh, I have, um, I have bought my car, um, for three years. Mm, maybe you change the verb. Uh, because by is such a short uh, verb. So, because yeah. it, it's better to just use it in the past tense, right? I've bought my car in, yeah. in 2017. But maybe you can, you can yeah. use the verb own or the verb have to, to talk about it as mm. a possession. Okay. Um, I have had my car mm -hmm. uh, for three years. Mm, this is good. I've had my car for three years. Or you can even say, I've owned this car, or I've owned, mm -hmm. yeah, because you're talking about possessive here. Okay, good. Yeah. Three years. Mm -hmm. And the last example, give us one last example. Talk about anything mm -hmm. here. Well, you can talk about anything you like, anything that started in the past. And still is still true today. Okay. What about um, where you live? Your house, your city, your country? You can talk about that. Okay. I have been living uh, in my house since uh, uh, since I was born. Yeah, that's that's good. I've been living in this house, or I've been living in my house. I've been living in my house since I was born, since I was born. Yeah, it's a good example. Nice, okay, nice examples. Malak, your turn, but you have to make your examples, you have to use different verbs. You can't copy paste as your example. Okay. Okay, uh, I've started my job uh, since 2005. Okay, I've started my job, started my job since 2012. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been, uh, um, I've been uh, living in my house uh, for 10 years. Okay, I've been been living 
you can say in this house for 10 years, okay? Mm -hmm. um, I've uh, bought uh, my mobile phone uh, for uh, four years. Mm, buy is a bit of a difficult verb because it's too short. Um, uh, it's better, but buy is better with the past tempo. I bought my phone two years ago. I and, bought, yes, in the past, okay. Yeah. So maybe you so, can talk about possession, like uh, like Hazar did with her car. Do you see the example with Hazar's car? Um, had um, or owned? Yes, okay. I've had uh, my, um, I have, uh, I have had uh, my phone uh, for uh, four years. Mm -hmm. okay. I've had my phone. I've had my phone. Four years. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last example? Um, I um, I have started uh, learning English uh, uh, since two years. Mm, maybe it's better to say I've been learning English, okay. right? Yes, yeah. learning. Okay. You can say I've been learning English for two years. This is a lot better. All right, good examples, nice. Um, okay, Sana, are you there? Yes, I yeah. am here. All right. I hear you. Ah, okay, good. C can you give us a few examples using the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous, okay? Let me give My you a teacher, for me, the f I, uh, I, uh, uh, looking forward to to uh, uh, understand this uh, tense present mm. uh, perfect continuous because uh, I uh, I didn't uh, take this grammar before mm. uh, but uh, I will try because I uh, prepare myself before the listening. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know something about this uh, tense. Uh -huh. mm, okay, but okay, I will try. Okay, let me give you a few tips to help you. A few okay, general it's ideas. Better. Yeah, it's yeah. Better. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have to keep in mind the present perfect uh, continuous is better for for verbs which take a longer time, like mm -hmm. living, like learning, like. Uh, playing, like raining, working, mm. you know, because these verbs, you can make them longer. Do you get the idea? So you can say, for example, I've been working in this company for 20 years. I've been working for 20 years. Or you can say, I've been working in this company since 2000. Do you get the idea? Okay. So here, because working is, is a nice long verb, so I can put it easily with I've been working. But for example, if the verb is a little short or if it's a state verb, with state verbs, you cannot do this. Mm -hmm. With state verbs, you have to use present perfect simple, verb, the normal present perfect. Like, for example, mm -hmm. if I want to talk about mm, my neighbor, you can say, I've known my neighbor, I have known, present perfect simple. I've known my neighbor for two years now. Do you get the idea? I can't say I've been knowing, because no is a state verb. You can't use it with the ing. Mm. Feel, it feels strange. Yeah. The same thing with have. Uh, if you want to talk about possession, if I want to talk about my mouse, this mouse, mm. I can say, I've had this mouse for two months. I've had. I cannot say, I've been having. I've had. Mm -hmm. Because this is possession. And uh, having, you know, it sounds a little strange. I've, I've had. Or I've owned. 
in ing in continuous, I can say, I've been using this mouse for mm. two months. I've been using, using Yim Shihana for long mm. actions. I've been using this mouse for two months. It's really nice. Mm. So this is the this is the general idea. Okay? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. And you but, can read 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 Hajar and Balak's examples first. Yeah. They will yeah, help I, you a little bit. Okay. I will start. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I try. Okay. Um, right. Okay. Uh, okay. I uh, I have been living in uh, in uh, my flat uh, since uh, since uh, uh, since I born since I was born uh, okay correct I've okay. I've been living in my flat since I was born this is good. Okay. okay. Uh huh. Uh, I I've uh, uh, even uh, uh, verb start. I think it's not uh, step. Not. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a short. Uh, it's too short. Okay. You can't can use it with that. Mm -hmm. I've uh, I've started my job. Uh, uh, I started my job uh, since uh, 2010. Okay. Or I, yeah. Okay, by the way, uh, sorry, Malak, mm -hmm. let, let's go back to your example. Sorry, Isana. I've mm -hmm. started is a little, I don't know. Uh, it yeah. started is, it's better to say I've, I've worked or I've had yeah. you can say I've had this job, or I've started this work, this job. I've started. I've started this course. I don't know. It just feels a little yeah. strange. Yeah. Just, just a second. Let me. Uh, let me take a look. Mm, okay, very quickly, 139. Uh, oops, 130. Even st started. Because here we have a nice summary. Mm. Uh, we've started the course. Yes. Okay, I've started the course since started the course since I've started the course since it works but I don't know if we can use it like uh, since with the word since I've been I've started this course I've started this course since I don't know uh, okay Let, let's let's uh, let's not use started okay because I need to check yeah. it feels mm -hmm. a little strange. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have been working in my job for 10 years. Mm, and this sounds better. I've been working in this job. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been working in my job. Okay. For 10 years. Okay. I've been working in this job, for example, for 10, 10 years. Okay. All right, another one. Okay, I have had my car since 2013. Okay, I've had my car since 2013, okay. And the last example? I have uh, been learning English uh, for one month. Okay, I've been learning English I've been learning English for one month. Mm. Uh, right All right, these are actually good examples. They're okay. Okay. 
Yeah, so the, there aren't a lot of differences between the present perfect simple and continuous. They're, they're like cousins. They're really close to each other. The idea is the same. Um, but like I said, it's just about the kind of verb you want to use with them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but did she enter? She didn't enter. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, so this is the general idea. Now, I want to, instead of starting something new, um, let me just show you a few exercises. Um, yeah, where is it? I sent you the workbook, right, everyone? Mm, yes. Yeah, I think I sent mm. you the workbook. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, L let me check this one. Okay. Is this the old workbook? Ah, oh, this is a new one. Okay, so this is uh, maybe. Okay, I just want to do this just for fun. Has anyone has anyone been using the workbook? Yes, I already started, but not uh, uh, the yeah. lesson one. Yeah. I think yeah. only. Just just unit one. <laughs> Yes. You, you, you mean you mean unit one uh, A, just one A? No, no, no. I think uh, uh, one, one B, okay. one B. Uh, okay. No, I, I finished will check. unit A. You finished unit uh, one. You mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you are a little better. Yeah, uh, one C. Mm. One C, Malak. Yes. What about you, Malak? Yes. Where did you get to in the workbook? 1A also, like Sana? Uh, no, not 1A, 1C. 1C. Malak, yeah? Yeah. Which maybe where... I'll finish uh, um, maybe, uh, maybe three lessons. Uh, we, I didn't uh, do my homework. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But but with, with because the thing is each each time we're taking something new. Uh, by the way, this intermediate book is quite, especially uh, the second part of it, intermediate B. It's quite heavy, because the previous course I had two students. One of them was good and she had no problem and she's upper intermediate now. But one of them was really lost, and he he didn't do well to be honest. There were two students in, uh, in, in, the, in the previous intermediate because uh, later in the course, it gets really, really difficult because each time they, they bring something new, something new, something new, something uh, almost every lesson, for example, uh, like uh, let's take s s unit seven or unit eight. So unit eight A, something new, eight B, something new, eight C, something new, eight D, do you get the idea? Yes. So, so in every unit, there are like four maybe new things, mixed grammar, vocab, you know. So my advice is to try to catch up as much as you can. Mm -hmm. uh, and I also advise you to do extra stuff. Just go on Google and just type present continuous just for fun. And just take a look at the first, the first results. You don't have to study, just, you know, take a look. That's all. Um, for example, if you have free time, just go on YouTube, present perfect continuous, and just listen to anybody talk about it a little bit. Give examples. Do you get the idea? Try to try to get yourself into um, the extra stuff. It will help. Okay, let's do one exercise. Um, I have a question. Uh, go ahead. Uh, yes. Uh, I. At the past, we take uh, present perfect, just present perfect. Correct, yes. correct. Um, I think a present perfect is uh, like a present perfect symbol, yes? Yes, it's the same thing. 
actually I, the, 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 what we studied before the present perfect that we first studied in actually even in elementary elementary I think in maybe the last unit they study the present perfect the present perfect simple Ladi I've been to you know, for experiences I've been to a music festival. I've, have you ever been to Egypt? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. You know, this, this, uh, present perfect simple. Do you get the idea? Mm. So, yes. yeah, so that's what we studied. Um, okay, now I want to work on this exercise. Now, mm. number three on the left side. It says here, choose the correct words. Sometimes both verb forms are possible. Sometimes both are possible. Mm -hmm. So take a few, take a few minutes, read all of this. And then when you're ready, you can just tell me and I'll move a little bit, okay? Okay. So you can start. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Okay. Sana? Yes. Okay. Uh, not Next. yet. For me, not yet. Okay. Okay, okay now. 
All right, so let's do them in turns, okay? okay. So uh, I'm just going to read the beginning. Okay. Philip Martin has never been having, uh, has never had a permanent home. Okay, so first one, Sana, you can start. He Okay. He's uh, been traveling around the world since he left uh, university. Okay. He's been traveling. Okay. Mm. Uh, all right, uh, Malak, can you continue? Okay. Uh, he's uh, number three. Uh, I've uh, I've stayed I've stayed uh, them. I've stayed uh, in about uh, eighty five of them. Okay, uh, Haju. And fortunately, Philip hasn't. Hajir, are you there? Hajir is not there. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's a mute, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, Philip uh, hasn't been uh, feeling well for the last week. Okay. Okay, Sana, back to you. I've... Okay. I've uh, been trying a lot of different books on my travels. Different food. I've been trying a lot of different foods, you mean? Ah, uh, food, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number six, Malak. I've never uh, had uh, any problems before. Okay, and uh, back to Sana. Uh, I mean, okay. Hajar. Hajar, right? Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but everyone uh, has um, has been looking after me very well. Okay. Uh, Sana? Okay. For the last 10 years, Philippe has has been keeping a diary, a dearly diary of diary of his travel. Diary, yeah. diary. Travels. Diary. Okay. Yeah. What's the difference between diary and diarrhea? No, I don't <laughs> yes. think. There he means he is sick. <laughs> yeah. He has a stomach ache. <laughs> right. So diarrhea and diarrhea are a little bit different. Small difference. Mm -hmm. Not a big difference. Mm -hmm. It's just a small yeah. difference. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So diarrhea and diarrhea. Okay. Now uh, he's... Uh, okay. Back to... Is it Malak yeah. now? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, he's published it. He's published two books okay. about his adventure. All right, number 10, so where's Hajar? Hmm? Or is it Sana? Yeah, Hajar. Uh, no, me, uh, but I couldn't see the... Here, number 10, Philip hasn't. Yeah, I couldn't see. Uh, okay, okay, now, okay. Um, publish it? Uh, two books about his adventure. Philip uh, hasn't um, hasn't had to do other work. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it Sana now? Yes. Mm -hmm. He had just, yeah. I think, finished it. Right. Okay. His third book. Mm -hmm. He's just finished his, his third. third book. Yes. Okay, and the last one, Malak. I've um, I've been exploring this world for over uh, fifteen years. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Now I think we can confirm the answers. I think they were correct, to be honest. But because here the good thing about uh, present simple, present perfect simple, and present perfect continuous. Sometimes both answers are acceptable. So 3B, here it is. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the one we did. 
Can you see it? Number two, mm -hmm. this part. So okay. been, yeah. been traveling. Yeah. He's been traveling. He stayed. Yeah. He hasn't he hasn't been feeling well. No. He tried. He's he's tried. I think kept, uh, it's uh, wrong. Um, maybe mm. wrong. Which kept? one? Kept. Uh, eight. Eight. No, actually both are correct. Kept been keeping, both are okay. Mm. Okay. But I think the mm -hmm. we, we answered has been trying. That's not correct. Has tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah me, me, me uh, yeah. answered this uh, book. Because this, this uh, one, question. because the, for food, food is experience. Have you tried? Not have you been trying? Mm -hmm. Do you get the idea? Mm -hmm. Tried uh, my experience as in the mm -hmm. present perfect simple. Uh, been looking oh. after, been looking after, kept, been keeping, both are okay. Published, correct. Had, correct. Finished, correct. Been exploring, correct. But if you said explored, I think I can't correct. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this is just an example. But the, but my point I'm trying to make here is with new rules, with new tenses, or anything new, mm -hmm. you need to do mm -hmm. as many exercises as you can while it's still fresh. Mm -hmm. This way you'll remember it, mm -hmm. and even when you leave it. It will be always there because you've done some exercises. Um, okay, so that's all for today. Actually, there might be, uh, I might take a little vacation. I'm not sure how many weeks, maybe two. I'm not sure. Um, mm -hmm. And after that, we'll continue. Just like a little, a little vacation before the, the start of the year. So um, maybe it's two weeks, I'm not sure. But I'll keep you informed. What happens is uh, with your subscriptions, everything will be paused. Do you get the idea? So it means that if, you, if you've already paid for the new month, it will stop now and it will continue from when we start again. Do you get the idea? So the, the, the period, the holiday period is not, it won't take away from your subscription. Um, I think this is for Malak because for you, Hajar and Sana um you haven't renewed yet anyways i'll, I'll i tell don't you. understand doctor you don't will uh, you will take uh, two weeks vacation yes probably maybe more i'm not sure and <laughs> we should pay for the next uh, month because it's uh, the second month and we should pay this meaning you mean if you, if you want to pay for my vacation no problem i, I no not mind. to pay for your vacation <laughs> this is it okay you should pay for you <laughs> yeah if you want to pay while while we are off you can but my uh, point is no it's a uh, no you only pay you only pay for the days you studied you get the idea so this means these two mm. weeks uh, or three or mm. whatever you won't pay for mm. them of course uh, until I come but back. No, no, this is for uh, for plan for the next uh, month. Just uh, I. Yeah, for the next month. So because. Yes, uh, yeah. بالنسبة yeah. yeah. لي yeah. بالنسبة لي yeah. yeah. yes. وحنا امتى نتصلوا بالشخص باش نعطوا له الفلوس ولا هيك آه ولا عادي نخلاها مفتوحه في خلال اسبوعين هما آه نتواصل معكم تقدروا تقدروا حتى تخلصوا من توا ما فيش مشكله يعني أوكي. لكن بيبدا طبعا الشهر من لما نرجع يعني مش حيبدا توا بس آه بس يو كان يو كان باي ما فيش اي ما فيش اي مشكله اوكي لا لا ما عنديش اي مشكله انا 